I, I could. It's a fairly complicated topic, but I'll see if I can kind of condense it down into the main points. It, it seems to us that much of the industry has kind of gotten lost in pursuit of uh, good-looking room graphs, and they've lost the sight of the ultimate goal, which is to enjoy the content we, we want to enjoy with our audio systems, whether it's music, uh, movies, uh, or live concerts, what, what have you. So um, we believe that the best way to do that is by deploying the most accurate loud you know, sound system possible uh, into a good room acoustic and to not confuse the two. Uh, the audio system is in, 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 is in and of itself, as is the room acoustic, but they aren't related in the way that much of the industry, I think, currently believes. And there's been lots of schemes developed, both automated and manual, to somehow try to compensate for room acoustical uh, phenomenon by changing somehow the response of the, the audio system, and we think that's the wrong way to go. We believe that the direct sound uh, from the loudspeakers in the audio system is what we sort of, sort of cue into. Uh, I think Floyd Tool would agree. We tend to listen around rooms and, and key into the sound source. And so we believe that the best way to achieve the best possible performance is to make the loudspeakers accurate as possible and to let them unfettered by uh, any additional filtering on top of that. So there are many, many flaws within the current room EQ schemes or so-called room correction, which by the way is a misnomer. You can't correct acoustics of a room by EQing an audio system just fundamentally. Um, but there's a lot of sources there, a lot of sources of error within the systems that are deployed, not least of which is uh, the omnidirectional microphones are used, really have a completely different directivity frequency dependent directivity than human beings do. We just don't interpret the, the sound in the same way the microphones do. So even if you get a pretty curve on your analyzer, a pretty graph, uh, you can be assured that the human beings are not hearing that same curve that your microphone is hearing. Uh, there are many other sources of error fundamental into it, but even more importantly to us is they kind of they kind of lead down a path towards less and less accurate and less and less enjoyment of, of the content you're trying to to listen to in the first place. And so, um, our products are developed such that the uh, DSP features in, included allow you to correct for anything that the room or the physical realities of the acoustic space might be doing to the direct sound, but only the direct sound and not the sound. Uh, of the reverberance of the room at all. So for example, if you have your loudspeakers behind a perforated movie screen, we have a filter in there that very quickly compensates for the effect of that screen so that the sound coming directly from the speaker to the listener's ears is now set back to the factory spec, which is a perfectly flat acoustic response. Um, so at the end of the day, I think what we're hoping to do is to bring some conversation and some uh, some focus on to this notion of so-called room correction to get dialogue going uh, so that we can all talk about the pros and cons and sort of as a parting comment I would just you know put out there I'd like to hear from people you know nobody would really consider EQing an instrument a musical instrument say a Steinway piano or a Martin guitar or something uh, to the particular acoustic environment it's being played in. So if you put a Steinway in a living room or you put a Steinway in a concert hall, nobody goes in there and alters the response of that instrument based on some acoustic reality of that space. So if that's the case, and if somebody could argue why you should do that, I'd like to hear that, but, but, but primarily what I'm looking for is why would you EQ an audio system for an acoustic environment if you wouldn't do it to a musical instrument during a musical performance or even just a solo person playing in a, in a living room. I think that the, uh, the discussions around that will be enlightening.